Today we are working on our abstract portraits inspired by the artist Sandra Silberswig. We will be using oil pastels to draw our lines and chalk pastels to add color. We will be thinking about warm and cool colors as we fill in our portrait with color and we'll find the shapes in our portrait and then choose colors to blend together in those shapes. Let's start All drawing. Right, so to get started, find the middle of your paper, right about the middle. You're going to draw a line coming out from the middle of your paper. That line is then going to go all the way to the top. So you have kind of a backwards L. So you're going all the way up to the top. And you're going to repeat that. So you're going to go up about an inch. Bring that line back in. And then again, go all the way back up to the top. So you have a backwards L shape. That's all you've done there. And that is your nose. Then you're just going to bring a little line down. It's about two inches long to connect then to your mouth. Your mouth, you're going to make a big sad face. Or this would be like a half circle. And then you're going to make another half circle. All right, your mouth is going to have a line that extends out. We're going to kind of be breaking up sections into our face to make this abstract face. And then another line coming down from your mouth. And from those two lines, we're going to make the side of our face. There's something under my paper side of our face. You will be doing this in pencil. I'm starting out with my oil pastel. You'll do it in pencil first and then go ahead and go over everything in white oil pastel just like I'm doing. Then you're going to curve this side up. So this is the cheeks of our mouth, kind of our chin. We're just going to make two lines coming off for the neck here. Notice when I'm using my oil pastel, which you'll do after you draw with your pencil, I'm pushing really hard and I'm making my lines nice and thick. That way when we use our chalk, those lines will separate the colors. Okay, then we need to draw our eyes. So we need to do one more line um, up here extending from the nose to the side of the paper. Again, this kind of just breaks up the picture. We're going to make our eyes, and remember these don't have to be exactly the same or lined up, so we're going to start up here, make a big sad face that goes to the edge of my paper, and then I'm going to connect that with a happy face. So there's my eye shape, it kind of looks like a football. I'm going to separate that eye shape with a line, and you can curve it or you can make it straight, that's up to you. Then there will be a curve here and a curve here for my eyes and then the center part another circle inside now because this is abstract our other eye doesn't need to line up with this first eye so we're going to do start this one a little bit lower making that big um, kind of sad face or upside down u and then turn it the other way around And if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, that's okay. We're making these nice big eye shapes, though. All right. The next step would then be to make another curve or line to make our eyelid. Those two curves and then a circle inside. We can use our oil pastel to start to make some patterns as well some other lines that maybe are breaking up our shapes. So maybe go back in. Um, you could make some dashes or dots patterns to break up some of this space. things to make these patterns. Might do a little lines on my nose. Mm -hmm. That's about all that I need. Then we will 
we'll start to add our chalk pastel details. When you are adding color to your artwork, you'll be using these chalk pastels and you want to think about what you know about the color wheel and mixing colors when you do that. You're going to mix colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Um, you're going to mix warm colors together and the warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. And then you'll also mix cool colors together, your blues and your greens and your violet. White is another color that you could use as well when you are mixing colors in. So what you'll do with the drawing that you have created with your white oil pastel, is you're just gonna find shapes in your face and you're gonna go and you're gonna start to fill them. You do not have to push very hard. You don't really have to fill the shapes completely with your chalk oil pastels. So you'll just start with a color and start to fill in an area. And you, you can kind of just scribble in a color and then you're going to choose another color that's next to that on the color wheel. So I might choose my, my lighter blue. I'm going to kind of overlap them and put them next to each other. And then I'm also going to choose a green. So these are all cool colors that I am mixing together. Now the thing about chalk pastels is they move really easily. So you're going to take one finger and you're going to massage your chalk pastels into your paper so that they spread and they go all the way to your white line that you made with your oil pastels. And then you're gonna be blending them together using your finger as well too. And because these colors are next to each other on the color wheel and they're all cool colors, we know that they will mix well together and look nice. You want to get all the way to the edges. I might need to add just a little bit more chalk up there in that area. And then those colors mix really nicely together when you're doing using your finger to massage it into the paper. This part is very important because chalk pastels get really messy and you want to make sure that you don't have lots of chalk dust that's going to fly everywhere so that's why you massage it into your paper, okay? Then you would go and find other shapes um, to do the same thing. And so I'm gonna take this section here and I'm gonna start with some warm colors. So I have my orange that I'm kinda gonna scribble in. This is kind of a golden yellow that I'll put here. You kinda overlap them a little bit as you do this. And then I will go ahead and use my red on this side here. Now, when I blend this, I don't want to use this finger. I'm going to use a different finger to blend. So I'm going to, you got to use different fingers when you're doing um, warm colors and different fingers for your cool colors. I'm going to kind of blend these colors, mix them together. Now, when I get over here to my yellow, I have a lot of orange and red on my fingers. So I'm going to switch fingers to this one. I'm going to switch them again so that I can blend these colors together and not have too much red on top of my yellow. Otherwise, I would not be able to see my yellow. So I'm massaging all these colors in, mixing them, getting up to the red. Try not to go over your red too much. Um, and that's how you would do that. So you will have a tissue or a paper towel near you to kind of wipe off your fingers when you, they get full of chocolate. <laughs> Now I'm going to kind of go in fast motion. You can watch me fill in some more areas with color. When using the chalk pastel, you do not have to push very hard. Make sure you scribble in those areas of color lightly so that the pastels don't break. Um, and then you are just blending them in together. You are welcome to use white and other colors when you're doing this. After you have filled in all of your areas with color and blended them together with your fingers and massaged them into your paper, you can then make some more patterns. I know we made some patterns with our white oil pastels. If you want to go back in and make some more patterns with other colors, you can do that. Um, our artists that we're looking at used a lot of just repeated lines um, or that are very kind of straight. Otherwise, you can do some curvy lines as well too and you decide where you would like them to go. 
And you want to do colors that are going to kind of stand out on top of the other colors that you made. So white, again, is always a good choice because it will stand out, but it's totally up to you what you would like to do. Um, so I'm just going to add some more patterns if I have a little bit of extra time using my chalk pastels. This part you would kind of use a, a sharp corner of your pastel to do that and you could use different colors if you would like to add these patterns in if you have a little bit of extra time. Finish up making your patterns for your abstract portrait and then you are all done. Awesome work and good luck!